what we've seen too is a, as a prescriber community that is often just using these medications as a quick, convenient way to treat people's pain. Because it's easy. Because it's easy. And, you know, I, I think our challenge now is to work with the prescriber community and work with medical communities to have a better conversation with clients as it relates to pain medication. You know, let, let me give you an example. I, you know, I've been in recovery for over 26 years, and uh, uh, I had a, a, a medical procedure. And despite the fact that my physician knew that I was in recovery, he gave me a prescription for narcotic analgesics. And, and I used it as an opportunity to have a, a conversation with him to say that, Doc, I am probably not the person that should be getting these incredibly addictive drugs. What did you do with the pills? Uh, I said no to the prescription. If alcohol is your problem, why worry about the pain medication? Well, uh, is there a connection there? So, so addiction, for you, uh, for me, addiction is addiction is is addiction, and you know, uh, many people with addictive disorders often have a substance of choice, but but it's abstinence from all potentially addictive medications that really keeps someone in recovery.